Hey everyone, it's Paul going solo on Market Talk. Amber is unable to make this week's Market Talk, but she will be back next week. So you have just my comments this week. And I can tell you from all the things that I've been reading all weekend and in truth on Twitter and responding to on Twitter, there is just one topic that is on everyone's mind and that is coronavirus. Coronavirus is what everyone is thinking about. And you know what? Let's just go through this, okay? So last week, the stock market went down in excess of something in the range of about 12% or so, depending on what index you're looking at. And there is a lot of fear and there's a lot of panic out there about coronavirus. And I also believe that there is a lot of misleading information that is being put out there to cause fear, to cause panic. And so number one, I just wanna let everyone know that I am still bullish, I am still optimistic, I am still positive, and I still believe that the America 2.0 bull market that is going on is going to continue. So I wanna make that thing loud, clear, 100% clear to everyone that with respect to the stocks in our services, we still like them. And if we want you to do anything with them, we will let you know because we get emails every day and I'm getting tweets all the time asking me every day, hey, Paul, are you still bullish? Are you still optimistic? Are you still positive? And the answer to each of those is yes, yes, and yes. I am still bullish, still optimistic, still positive on America 2.0. And here is why. And here is why. I can tell you that when you look at the underpinnings of this boom that is still ongoing, despite what happened with the stock market last week, nothing has changed. And you know, if you have been with me, with us, with our team, let me grab my strong hands here. In fact, we came up with strong hands during one of these periods just like what we are going through right now. It was in 2018 and we were being pummeled, pummeled, pummeled every day it seemed like with fears of a recession, fears of a crisis, fears of a crash. And many people sold, many people sold. And I can tell you I have received hundreds of emails of people writing me to say they regretted it. Because you know what happened eventually, which is that the stocks rebounded. The America 2.0 bull market, which we had not yet coined, was in play back then and is still in play now. And you also have been through what we went through in early 2019 when people have almost forgotten. Remember the trade war. The trade war was going to cause a bear market, cause a crisis, cause a crash. And once again, let me get my strong hands out here again. We ask you to have strong hands, hold your stocks through the volatility, because we believe that this bull market, this America 2.0 bull market, this fourth industrial revolution bull market is still on, is still on, 100% on, because the drivers of it, are still in place. And what are the drivers of it? That is the fourth industrial revolution remaking our country into America 2.0. And what is the fourth industrial revolution? The fourth industrial revolution is all of our megatrends. If you just have one megatrend, you can have a nice bull market. If you have, like what we have going, five, six, seven, and more megatrends to come, now you have the recipe for a massive, extraordinary boom. However, it is never, and will never, ever, ever be a straight line. Never, ever, ever. There will always be ups, there will always be downs, there will be in-betweens, and you will need, all right, I'm not gonna grab the strong hands for the third time. However, you will need some tenacity, some fortitude, some courage, some belief, some trust, some conviction to get the big gains. Because those folks who left in 2018 probably never came back in. And so they missed out on the big run that happened in 2019. And for sure, the folks that 
left in 2019 for the trade war. They never came back in. And right now, for sure, given the size of the move, last week, another bunch of people, another group of people have exited out. And they will wait until everything looks just right. And I made a recent video that was put up on my bull profits on Tuesday. And while I want to mention that, I want to say subscribe to our channel. If you like the content on this channel, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you did last week. Did you buy or sell? And also want to mention that because I believe that the vast majority of this panic and fear is in all likelihood in the markets. For the markets to go down by 11%, this is the perfect moment for a rebound. And I want to mention a service of ours called Rebound Proper Trader that uses option trades to actually benefit from rebounds. And this is a phenomenal, incredible service that my colleague and friend, Ian Dyer and I run together. It's a phenomenal service. If you're interested in getting on this rebound by using option trades, then click on the strong hands above and that will take you to a page that will give you all the details for you to get in on Rebound Profit Trader and to take advantage of this moment. However, I want to make clear that I am still bullish, still optimistic, still positive, not just because as a reaction to what has happened, because the underlying factors are still there. And if you go and look actually at the coronavirus by itself, and I put this tweet up, and I really recommend that all of you follow me on Twitter at Manpili Guru. It shows that the coronavirus in China has peaked. And when you look at the numbers, 90% of all coronavirus infections are in China. And 95% of all coronavirus deaths are in China. It is a fairly small number that is outside of China. And I believe, as I tweeted, that if Italy, Iran, and South Korea, and the United States, if we get together and we do the right thing and can really limit the spread of this, we're going to have good news on this sooner rather than later. And a lot of people want to believe the bad news. However, I believe that we could have good news on this happening sooner rather than later. And you know what is going to happen that most people don't understand. And listen up because this is important as the biggest misunderstanding that people have. Most people think that the markets will wait until the news to recover. No, that's not the way it works. Markets anticipate. So the moment what I'm telling you starts to become understood, appreciated, people will start to buy. And before you know it, stock prices will be bid up. There will be a recovery in place. And those folks who sold will miss out. And if you have no stocks, you will not benefit. So I want to keep this short, sweet, to the point and reinforce my message. I'm bullish, I am optimistic, I'm positive, BOP, BOP, as I put it on my Twitter handle, my, on my Twitter messages all the time. Stay in our stocks, stay positive, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and that's our market talk for this week. Amber and I will be back next week. Until then, this is Paul saying bye.